So as you guys can see, we are entering the mode that I loved a lot last year, which is Draft Champions. And of course, from last year, they probably made some upgrades. I'm not exactly sure. It's probably going to be around the same base. 88 overall Cam Noon. That's got to be worth a lot of coins, man. But I'm assuming it's going to be around the same thing. You do have an unranked solo and ranked. So I know it's early on, but I think we're going to go ranked right away. We have 10 tickets, so that's not too many. That's a little bit of our stuff. Doug Peterson. So we have the Patriots coach, which I think we should go with as uh, I do actually like their offensive playbook from last year. I don't know if it's going to be the same, but uh, as we can already see, they have kind of built in. Holy shit. So we start off with a legend round. I don't know how common that is, but Jesus Christ, we start off with a legend round. Kevin Green is a pass rusher. We don't really care too much about pass rusher. Well, we do, but we are built for a 4-3, so we're going to go Ray Nitschke, Packer fan. He's a beast. He's a new guy. I mean, so is Kevin Green, but let's be honest, uh, you know, Ray Nitschke's a little bit cooler. Uh, Jonathan Stewart, we have Manzel at quarterback as a backup. Carson Palmer. 87 throw power. He actually has really good stats on that card. I'm surprised they're that good. Um, Keenan Allen, though, I think is going to be the choice for us. A um, lot, of, lot of high silvers we have, by the way, at offense. And we get another elite round. So Fletcher Cox does fit the scheme a little bit better than most would. Um, Pernell McPhee, another great player. But I think we have to go Dante Hightower. He is a Patriot after all. So you can't really blame us for choosing him. Andrew Luck. So we have an 84 overall Demarius here. Not a bad choice. Joe Thomas also not a bad choice. But I don't think you can pass up a quarterback like Andrew Luck. So far, we're actually having a pretty good draft compared to last year. And the overalls aren't even nearly as good as last year. So here we go with our fifth round pick, Eric Reed. Ugh, I don't know. He's, he's good. But I think we have to go with Sammy Watkins. Zach Ertz is not a bad player himself. But Sammy Watkins, in my opinion, is the clear-cut choice at an 83 overall and at wide receiver, a very important position. So, CJ Mosley, 83 speed. He's actually faster than Ray Nitschke. Not that great of a thing for us. Um, Don Tari Poe is a damn good talent, but cornerback is a huge issue, so we are going to get that right there. And we get another sort of pass rush line um, round, at least. Excuse me. A 93 tackle. Ooh, Sheldon Richardson's a good choice for this. Do we move Dante Hightower to left out and then play? Because Thomas Davis doesn't fit the scheme at all. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go with scheme. We're going to go with scheme. Sheldon Richardson fits the scheme perfectly. And we get 88 overall Honey Badger. I'm actually surprised he's an 88 overall. He's a great player, but I figured they would kind of undercut him. And of course, when you look at these players, it's between Ansa and Matthew because if you're going safety, you have to go Tyron because he can play anywhere on the field. As you can see, he has cornerback stats, but he is going to be playing free safety for us most likely. And here we go. We already have a quarterback. We don't have a running back, so Ezekiel Elliott is most likely our guy. Brandon Cooks is looking good, but not very often you're going to be able to choose one of the league's top rookie talents this early in the game. And of course, we get Jay Cutler. Um, right tackle, though. I think we might go with the right tackle. Michael Floyd's not bad, but we have some wide receiver talent already. And right tackle has always been the problem that's gotten us in Madden in the past. And we get another youngster. So, Tavir Whitehead. Sean Williams is actually not a bad player. He actually got a huge upgrade from last year. Um, Tavir Whitehead doesn't fit the scheme at all. But I think he is good enough to play there for us. So, we are going to play him there. Round 12. We get ourselves an elite round technically, and I think we might actually make the pick. It's ch it's a tough choice. Patrick Chung makes a, a lot of sense. Wesley Woodyard does too. Yeah, we're going to go with the offensive lineman. Screw it. We're going to go with a good center. Might as well. And here we go. Malcolm Jenkins. I actually seen that card before. Allen Robinson, a little bit on the slower side. Uh, do we go Calais? We could have a hell of a front seven. I think we're going to go Calais. We're going to go Calais. It's a tough choice to make there, but we are going to take it. And another center round. This is not good, but we did get Jimmy Graham, who's an 83 overall. Kind of shocked me. Didn't expect him to only be an 83, but I guess to be fair, there are a lot of lower overall players that deserve to be higher. Jimmy Graham, I wouldn't say he really deserves it. He's really done anything. And of course, you can see we get a hero round. 
So I would have thought this would have been an extra legend round, but maybe it's mixed up. And I think in this situation, we have no choice but to take the cornerback as we only have one decent corner. And of course, uh, you need more than one. So that is, uh, that is our draft. Let's take a look at the lineup. We have an 81 offense, or an 80 overall offense, 81 defense with an 81 overall in general. We got Johnny Mansell at backup. Ezekiel Elliott is a good choice. We actually have Roy Halu. I'm actually surprised they gave him to us. He's actually really fast too. We have Fulmer. The game pretty much has us all set up. And Jimmy Graham, of course, not a bad pick at all. Defense, very good defense. Of course, we do have better overall defense than we do on an offense, which is not surprising. What is Tyron at cornerback? He is an 83. That's a huge drop off. Not worth making that drop off since we need him anyways. Ooh, they gave us a great um, strong safety. So I think we're going to have Duke Williams at backup strong safety as well. I haven't really played much actual gameplay, so it's going to be tough for me. I don't know about you guys, but I always have a rough time of it early on. We get Andrew Franks. Honestly, never heard of him. I'm not going to lie and say I did. I've never heard of him before in my life. And uh, I think that is the lineup. I know you guys are probably, if you're watching my content on a normal basis and you've watched me before Madden 17, you're probably like, why are the videos so short? And that's because I am trying my ass off to get you content quick with my computer and my internet speed. So it is going to be short for at least the first day. So bear with me. But once Madden actually drops, we will be uh, uploading on a, a longer gameplay basis. So if you guys did enjoy the draft, and uh, if you like more drafts, you know, maybe we'll do another one soon. But I think the next video we do upload is going to be actual gameplay with either the Ultimate Team or this team. Um, maybe actually we're going to do uh, Gauntlet. I haven't done that. And I normally do that right away. So if you guys did enjoy, if you are new to the channel, maybe subscribe, maybe like, maybe share. You don't even have to do any of that. Watching the video is already huge to me. So I uh, hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!